What would someone assume about you based on your emails? A new project from MIT sheds some light on what your online relationships say about you. With all the recent news about the NSA's ongoing data collection from Google, Facebook, Apple, and other large internet companies, there's been a lot of speculation about how the powers that be infer details about your life through your emails, calls, and other communications. Some sites like Vice and BuzzFeed have even created email spam campaigns that include certain provocative keywords with the goal of somehow thwarting their filtering systems. But a new project from MIT's Media Lab called Immersion wants to make some of that email metadata accessible to you. So Immersion is a tool that allows you to actually experience that life that you have on the web by accessing your metadata, visualizing it, and letting you see the web that you have weaved together with others. The Immersion project began as an interactive installation at MIT, and its goals are both practical and artistic, providing a visual guide of your online relationships, communications, and priorities. Immersion draws only from your Gmail right now, and if you choose to grant the project access, you'll get an overview of your email metadata and a user profile, which you can always delete later and they won't save it. What's interesting is that they don't analyze the content of your emails. Rather, it just shows you how much can be gleaned from metadata, like who's emailing who, and when and how frequently during what times. You can even guess which of your contacts are separately connected. And this visualization of that info, the immersion creators say, can help you be more strategic about your communications and even reflective about your personal and professional relationships. To see all these people who've been part of my life, friends and family who I've been in touch with no matter what, and other people whom I've unfortunately lost touch with, that was quite moving to say the least. With so many of us thinking more carefully about what our online life contains, it's not surprising that Immersion has been popular. So popular, actually, that the servers were overloaded when I went to try it out myself, but you can sign up to be notified right away when you can try it for yourself. What do you think your email would say about you? Let us know in the comments. For TFM, this is Annie. And don't forget to check out today's HD Nation, where Pat and Robert let you know the best smart HDTV you can buy, plus how to set up home theater speakers right.